Good morning guys, happy Monday. Today is Monday, July the 11th and today is just another day in the life of a mom. Today's actually a special vlog because Levi is going to daycare for the first time. He has been on the waiting list at this particular school for six weeks. The daycare system here in Pensacola is very scarce. There's not a lot of daycares that was taking babies and so we had an in-home sitter. I was literally about to stop working, all that. So I think I talked a little about that on my teaching channel. So if you're not following me over there, I'm going to be posting a lot more content. Um, it's Ashley's Happy Nook and it's basically what I do at work and all that kind of stuff. But today it's all about being a mom and so i'm packing his lunch i'm making him some mac and cheese which i'm going to show you guys that this school doesn't have like a full kitchen so you have to bring their lunch every day so we'll see how that goes <laughs> so he's starting now because they didn't want to hold the spot until august so it's gonna be a little different not having him around the house during the summer but i'm excited to get him used to it so when i do start work it's not an unfamiliar thing it'll be something that we're all used to and yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got packed, what I'm packing for his lunch. And yeah, let's get our day started. All right, so I got these mac and cheese from Walmart and they're so cute, the baby shark. They were only 50 cents. I think there's something that just came out, I don't know. But I just got them. Um, he likes mac and cheese. This is some outfits that I got from Walmart the other day and he's gonna wear this one today. It came with shirt. I think I showed you guys these on my vlog. So I just hadn't posted it yet. But I think I did show you that outfit. Now these are new. I got these yesterday. And I just like camo. And I just got him some t-shirts. You know. They don't really have a lot of options in terms of boy clothes. A lot of dinosaur stuff. But I like kind of plain. So I think he's going to wear this one today. No, it's no sleeve. So I don't know how cold it's going to be in there. So I'm going to do this outfit today. And then these are some other shirts that I got. These were $4.50 for two. And then these, shirt, these shorts uh, and these pants were $2.50 on clearance. Y'all sleeping on Walmart clearance now. They they coming on up. And then this was um, $2.50 as well. Also, I made some more of these. I have to show you the ones that he's currently using right now. He's sleeping still. But um, I got these from Amazon. And I just put it all together. And then these little pasties came from Walmart. And um, this is the ones that he used. And I bought these from Amazon separate. So it came in like little bags like this. Right here you guys see this table is a mess because I was in here last night but it came in little bags like this so I bought the string all that and yeah so this is his little lunch box um, they didn't really have any cute ones this is it and this was like simple to the point so I'm packing him some of these sorry if you hear the dryer going the washer going yeah so I tried to put some clothes in this morning but I um, got some of these in here I'm gonna put these in a little baggie so he can just have a little bit don't know what he's gonna actually eat and then I have the um, thermal that's gonna go right here with his mac and cheese I'm also gonna be packing him two cups with his um, formulas so he's still drinking the toddler formula what let me see right here he's drinking this now and it is toddler gentle ease and this is his last can we're going to transition him to whole milk i'm just trying to figure it out because my other kids had like very um they were very constipated whenever we um started them from transitioning from breastfeeding to infant meal to um, whole milk so this is a good um middle ground and so this is what we're being used and he's actually you know he, he likes it or whatever but we're going to be using um the one percent two percent whole milk whatever um after he's done with that can so i'm going to be packing him two bottles so let me go ahead and get started because my husband wants to take him we're all going to go while he you know we're all going to take him to daycare today <laughs> i don't know if i said i was going to work out but if i did i'm going to include it in this clip i'm going to work out at 9 30. it's going to be my first time doing like a boot camp type style workout so i just threw on this shirt that i got you guys probably saw it in my my haul that I did for the um, thrift store haul but I love oversized shirts especially now with this postpartum body and I got just some tights on I'm just gonna put on my Puma shoes and yeah that's gonna be it for the attire for today and I just got these cute little um, cross earrings also I got this new accessory I don't know if you guys can see it it says no rain no flowers and this is my first tattoo 
yeah yeah let me go ahead and finish and um get him situated i already got up brush my teeth and all that i just got myself ready and so i need to get the girls up um they don't have to get like fully ready but they need to put something on because um the thing is at 9 30 for me and we're gonna just come back to the house because the daycare is only like five minutes away it's not that far y'all he's still asleep but he been up since four in the morning because he got me up at four in the morning now it's six or seven oh seven now and yeah it's time for him to get up but this is the other clip you guys can see it the other passy clip his name on it yeah so um let me get him situated get his clothes on and i'll check back in with you guys in there he just went to the people so all right guys sorry but he just went to the people to the lady on um, the receptionist and i had already saw his classroom and they had like a separate like facebook account so they're gonna be uploading pictures there so yeah guys um, really yeah i clean that up what do you mean it's a mess y'all done yeah. yeah. Just one All right. more packet. No, we got a whole nother basket. So you gotta put these up. There. All my rules. So I got some rice, broccoli, cream of chicken soup, and then I got this when I was at the store. I was like, I'll maybe use this instead of the cream of chicken, but we'll see how it go. But this is the broccoli cheese soup. And this don't go there. Got some butter. Sour cream. I got some rotisserie um, chicken that's already cut up and everything. Um, they were out of the whole chicken. Got this. This was a little more expensive than I wanted to pay. And I just realized I had some chicken tenderloins in the deep freezer. So I could like just cook those. But anyways, this is already done. I'll just throw it together. Some medium cheddar cheese. Some baked crackers. Butter rounds. Basically the Ritz crackers. This is the off brand. And then I guess you just mix it all up. And then you put it in the oven. That's it. <laughs> oh, you need chicken broth as well. It also calls for Italian seasoning, um, also milk and garlic powder and salt and pepper. I forgot to mention that. All right, guys, so this is how it's looking. I'm going to add it to this baking dish. My oven is set for 350. I'm going to bake this for 15 minutes. I'm going to top it with some Ritz crackers, crumbled up, and a little more of the rest of the, well, the rest of this cheese. Yeah, so it looks good. It smells good. I did add, um, they did call for like optional seasons. You can add a little bit of garlic powder, but I had onion powder, so I used that. And then I used a little bit of the garlic salt. So, um, yeah, so. It took all that had in me not to put no Cajun seasoning in here, but we're going to put this in the oven, we're going to let it cook, and we're going to have dinner. You think it's a good one? Yes. <laughs> he proud. Go ahead and cut it. Come on, Daddy. You got it. It's going to be a little soft right here. You see that? I'm not worrying about that. That's Do y'all knock on y'all watermelons? Like, or is that just us? The girl was like, uh. She knocked on it too? Have, no, she didn't do anything like that. She said, just look at the thing. Oh, yeah. Some people look at the stripes or something mm, like that. But if you to. knock on it and if it's hollow, that's how you know you got a good, firm watermelon. Unless you like soft watermelons, but I don't think nobody want a mushy, soft watermelon. But anyways. I, um, I like the little solid. Like, yeah, we want it firm and sweet. And juicy. 
Yeah, it's automatically juicy, but firm and sweet. And if you knock on it and if it's hollow, it's good. Oh, no, oh, we. One blessy. All right, so this is what I packed for Levi today. This is the little things I packed for him in the other vlog, which are, let me show you guys. If you didn't see that vlog, it was these right here. And uh, he liked those, he ate all of those. We had some watermelon last night, so I packed that. And I packed very light today because um, he, I would just gauge what he ate the first day and then like try to mimic that. Um, I don't wanna pack too much food. This is the broccoli and cheddar rice casserole that I made. So good, it smells so good. Every time I open this, I'm like, oh my goodness, because I opened it for Instagram. So you guys not follow me over there. Follow me at fairly.simple.life, uh, uh, sorry. Follow me at Fairly Simple Life. Um, that's where I'm at over there. And I'm trying to post a little more like daily stuff. So you'll see some of this stuff over there as well. And I just packed him his two cups. One is water and one is milk. Cause he's getting checked out today. So he's not gonna need like, he's not gonna need a whole bunch of milk and all that. So yeah, so that's what he has. And I need to grab his blanket. I already packed him up in the car and yeah, so let's go. So I want to thank Love Every for sending me over this package. This is the Babbler Play Kit for ages 13, 14, and 15 months. Um, my kids, all the kids were super excited whenever we got it. And I just wanted to show you guys what the inside looked like and all the things that it comes with. So our package took less than a week to get here. Everything, great quality. No nicks, no dings, no scratches, no anything like that. You could tell that they take great pride in their work. Also, one of my favorite things about Love Every, um, but about this package in general, is that diversity. Look at all the different faces you see, guys. All the kids look different, and that's one thing that students need to see, or students, guys. I'm a teacher, but that's one thing that babies and kids need to see. They need to see kids that do not look like them. Also, it came with this little... Um, little pamphlet book that talks about suggested activities the timelines as well as different things that you can do and also talks about each of the products and what their purpose is for that's a good thing now this product or this toy is one of the best out of the kit in my opinion because it offers so many opportunities for fine motor skills um, when I taught kindergarten that's one of the areas that students struggle with and that's fine motor skills and this gives so many different opportunities for that and it's one of Levi's favorite and I think it's just easy for him to navigate since he's still so young but yeah he loves it so this is an overview of all the things that you get in the kit and like I said everything was neatly packaged and it was great great quality Hey guys, so it is way later. I've been playing with the baby, trying to post to Instagram. I posted the love every gift um, that they that I received and I showed you guys as well. And it takes a lot of my time to post to Instagram, so that's why I haven't really been posting. I like to post to my stories. It's just like vlogging to me, but I needed to make a reel for them and I'm just getting into the hang of making reels. I don't even know what I'm doing. So hopefully it turned out okay. You guys go follow me over there. I'll follow you back. Let's be friends. I'm about to make dinner. Um, I'm making that deer quesadilla. I'm going to make the deer. Like it's ground deer. So I'm going to make it like I would make my ground beef. And season it just the same. And then um, add a little more onions. Because I'm trying to take that gamey taste out. I may also put some liquid smoke in there. I may or may not do that. We'll just see how it tastes. I'm um, just trying to counteract at, just trying to counteract that gamey taste. But yeah, if you cook deer before, then you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, gonna do that. Gonna tidy up the house. It is 5.13. So my husband gets home around about 5.45, 6 o'clock. So hopefully the food is done and everything is tidy and everything is good. And we're gonna probably take a family walk, but it's still kind of like wet out. It's not raining right now, but it's kind of wet. So I want to just walk around because I didn't get to work out today. I want to make sure that I'm moving my body a little bit more. So but yeah, let me hop on this dinner and I will chat with you guys later. So I'm just going to end the vlog here. This day was super busy. Um, I didn't get to show you guys all the things that we did. I washed the car. We, the girls had doctor's appointments. So many things jam-packed into the day. But I want to thank you guys for watching. <laughs> They're doing a cha-cha slide, by the way. I want to thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.